Hi, my name is Himmel. Today I'm gonna to be answering the question, how do you keep going when you don't feel like trying? And there's probably 10 or 15 different tips that I could give you that could specifically help you either get out of that rut, that could re-inspire you to keep trying and you know keep chasing your dreams and, and whatnot, and all your goals and whatnot. And I just feel like, you know, if, if I, I could do that. Like there's this book literally called Keep Going by Austin Cleon, where it literally goes through 10 different things that you can do to keep at it pretty much with whatever it is that you're doing. And I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go through what I think um, about this question. And if you wanna look at it like this, this is probably just gonna be an informal conversation. Right now, I don't really feel like structure. Um, I feel like my whole, like my whole past month has just been filled with structure and I want a bit of kind of free flowingness to it and so we're just going to be answering this question as if you and I were just having a dinner and we were just talking so how do we keep going when we don't feel like trying and I feel like the best way I could potentially answer this is by thinking about well what's it like when we don't feel like trying like what are the things that lead us to that? And I feel like a lot of things that do that for me, especially, and I feel like I can, I can like this is common amongst a lot of other people, is that we feel like we have so much on our plate. Like we're doing so many different things. And so we feel like we can't handle everything. And then we get to a point where we get so caught up with life and its happenings that we lose focus on why we do what we do. So when we overcommit ourselves to all these different things in our lives, then our energy becomes spread quite thinly. Like if you think about it, energy in terms of time as well, like 24 hours a day, let's say you sleep eight hours, you have 16 hours a day to dedicate to different areas of your life. And if you are over committed in one area, then obviously naturally some of the other, some of the other areas might suffer as a result. And I think, that if we focus on being rather than trying to do everything, then I think that helps. Like whether that be you know, being a good son, being a good father, being you know a good mom, a good partner, um, you know like a good worker, or like a good um, like a good representative of our country, whatever it is, right? If we focus on doing that and we think about what that entails, then I think it allows us to kind of maybe manage all these things a little bit more effectively. And it means that, you know what? We don't have to be the best in the world, uh, but maybe we can just be our very best. If, if you know what it is that you're after and you're also aware of the consequences, but you still want it, then I think it's I think, I think it's a decent way of navigating your life. But if it's something where it's like, oh, you don't, you're unsure, then you gotta rethink your priorities. And I think reprioritizing yourself and seeing what you're committed to can really prevent this feeling of, you know, whether or not you actually want to try. Another thing that this kind of like trails onto is this making time for ourselves. Like a lot of the reasons why we, like one of the reasons, another reason why we just don't try is because we just don't give the time to ourselves to just kind of rejuvenate, re-energize ourselves so we can do all the things that we want to do. And it's like, like if you don't give that time, then where is your energy coming from? Like it's okay to schedule a night off and, and then like refuse work or like refuse to do all these other things because you've specifically set this time away for yourself. I think that's, I think that's a really important thing. Like granted that, you know, sometimes, sometimes money might, might be a problem. Like maybe you need the extra cash to pay a few more bills. And so like, you'll accept more work on your night off or on the day off that you had planned. And like, that's all well and good. But if it's at the expense of our health and our ability to manage everything else, then we gotta really think about, was it really worth it? Or is it really worth it? And so the other side of this, when do we actually feel like we wanna keep trying? When do we actually feel like we actually wanna keep going? And I think for me, it's it's a matter of you know being physically well. Like am I sleeping right? Am I eating right? Am I, um, am I like doing a bit of exercise? Like these three things, if I can do them, then it doesn't take me like a lot to be re-inspired and keep going. I do so many things. I speak, I facilitate, I do YouTube, I tutor, I have a part-time job. Like I do so many different things. And I know the Himmel three years ago would crumble under all of this pressure because it is, it, it is a lot. Like even now sometimes I feel like it's a lot. But I, then I remember like why I do what I'm doing and how important my work is. And like all the stress, anxiety, and tiredness kind of fizzles out because like I'm not doing it for me. Like I realized like, like I, I, don't, I don't do it for me. Some part, some part of it, yes, it is, it is, right? I'm involved in it, but 
more often than not, it's because, man, like, someone was suffering. And like, I made that difference. Or like, someone was confused. And now they have clarity and they know what to do next. Just try and figure out why you do what you do. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on how do you keep going when you don't feel like trying. And I hope it brought a lot of value to you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, by the way, because I'll probably do a like almost like a review, but like my thoughts on this book and like a few learnings that I can share with you. Um, <clears throat> so if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video and you want me to do more of this like kind of informal chats, let me know. Um, and I'll probably make sure that I do them. I actually really liked it. Like it was nice not having any real structure at all. Like just kind of like sitting back relaxing, chilling, having a cup of tea. Um, or on that note as well, I wonder what we can call this series if we make it a series. Like this right here is peppermint tea. Um, maybe if I made a chai or something, we can call it like chai chats. Um, huh. <laughs> I don't know. Like maybe chuck a few name suggestions if we were gonna do this as a series in the comment section below. And maybe we can make this a thing occasionally, once in a while, we can just have this informal conversation going. Anyway. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye.